I'm pleased to welcome you all here today uh, for this very exciting occasion kicking off Rice Park and its revitalization effort. I have the great pleasure today of introducing our fearless mayor of our city, Mayor Melvin Carter, and he is going to be uh, speaking to us. Yes, thank you so much. Well, thank you all for being here. I've worked with Amy for 10 years at least now, and I've never corrected her before. But this is the beautiful Rice Park. <laughs> and what's beautiful about this is the vision, it's uh, the work, it's the culmination of a whole lot of work by a whole lot of people working together. And what's beautiful about this is the knowledge that we're gonna continue to work together and we are going to see a revitalized, a renewed Rice Park for generations to come as a result of this work. Ooh. I'm excited to be here this morning. I'm joined by our city council member for Ward 2, uh, council member Rebecca Naker. Thank you so much for being here. Would you just scoot closer so you're in the pictures? <laughs> there you go. I know I see our Parks and Rec director, Mike Hom, in the audience as well. Thank you, sir, for your, all of your work on this. And all of our city employees who are here. We're excited about St. Paul. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's something kind of exciting going on in St. Paul right now. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it as you walk through downtown and see the energy of people downtown and all over our neighborhoods. We are moving forward towards a really big vision for our city. You know, we're kind of, I, I grew up here and we're, we're, some of us are used to St. Paul being this kind of quiet, quaint, small town. And, and we're ruining all of that. <laughs> this city, is on the cusp of something. And we're moving towards this big vision for St. Paul. And one of the things that we've realized is the vision is just bigger than the mayor or the mayor's office or the mayor and the city council or even the mayor and the parks and rec department working alone can do by ourselves. You know, when we talk about the vibrant, amazing city that we want to know that we have, where every child in our community can achieve her full potential, where we know that we're eliminating the racial, the ethnic, the economic, the geographic disparities that we have in our community, where we have the vibrant type of d thriving downtown that includes not just great housing, but jobs and workforce and just the neighborhood amenities that we need like 21st century parks, that that work is something that's gonna require a whole lot of partnership. And don't you know that the fact that we're standing here today proves that? Because we wouldn't be standing here today had it not been for the fundraising leadership from the Rice Park Association, the St. Paul Garden Club, and the St. Paul Parks Conservancy working together to make this happen. We wouldn't be here today had it not been for the major financial support we've received for this, not just from the city of St. Paul, but from the St. Paul Foundation, from John and Ruth Huss, from the Hardenberg Foundation, from F.R. Bigelow Foundation for their incredible financial support. Please give them a round of applause as well. And we really wouldn't be here had it not been for the neighbors who have rallied around Rice Park as a neighborhood jewel, a neighborhood amenity that's important not just for this block and not just for downtown, but for our entire city. So I know the Ordway Center has been actively engaged, the James A. Hill, George Latimer Central Library, the St. Paul Hotel, the Landmark Towers, and the Minnesota Wild have been right in the conversation from day one, helping to move this forward. Give them a round of applause for me as well. And I also know we have a number of individual donors who have just reached into their pockets, who you've reached into your pockets to help. Uh, and I really appreciate that. That's how we move our city forward. That's how we really build a city that works for all of us. It requires all of us to do some of the work. And the incredible revitalization that we're doing at Rice Park means that our children and our grandchildren and their children 
are going to get a chance to come downtown whenever they want and see a beautiful, stunning reminder of what we can do when we all work together. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Mayor, for your leadership in our city and of this project Thank for you. us. We're looking forward to it moving forward. Absolutely. The beautiful Rice Park. The beautiful Rice Park, yes. yes. Um, on behalf of the Rice Park Association, again, I, I'd like to thank um, all of you for being here. Uh, we have a lot of Rice Park Association members in the audience. If you could wave. I know you're out here. Yeah. I just want to mention that the Rice Park Association members all contributed to this project. And this is our front yard. We feel very, very, very strongly about it, looking as beautiful as it can be. And um, again, my thanks to Rice Park Association for being part of this. Um, as the mayor mentioned, we cannot do this without very strong partnerships. And uh, in our leadership, our leadership team who raised the private fundraising, the St. Paul Parks Conservancy, and the St. Paul Garden Club um, was a, an initial key partner in this. And I'm very pleased to introduce Marge Holes from the St. Paul Garden Club, president of the Garden Club, to speak. Greetings from the 100 members of the St. Paul Garden Club. This is our stamping ground that you're on. We all volunteer here. We get the plants design the gardens and put them in. We've been doing that for the last 25 years. And actually our members, the first year there was a garden club 90 years ago, planted 1,700 tulips in this park. So we go ba way back. We have a history with this. We felt that the park was looking pretty shabby a couple of years ago. So the garden club uh, raised the initial money to have the city a prepare concept plan and that's the plan that uh, we've been working toward for the last four years uh, and then we partnered with the Rice Park Association which had been talking for years about improving the park and with the St. Paul Parks Conservancy which raises money for our parks here in St. Paul uh, and we just have to thank all of the private donors who have come to the fore and have and helped us raise this money. I don't think any of the three organizations could have done it alone. It took all of us and it took everybody else uh, in the city to put this together and get it off the ground. It's going to be a wonderful new park. You can see a couple of pictures. And we're just about to, well, I'm, I'm at home with a shovel, probably more than most of you. <laughs> we're about to dig in. <laughs> Thanks. Garz Morissette is the president of the St. Paul Parks Conservancy. Thank you, Marge, and uh, thank you all for uh, coming today. Thank you, Mayor and Council Member. Um, the St. Paul Parks Conservancy is in our, we're in our 10th year, and we've uh, worked on several projects. Our first project was across the river in, in Lilydale. We worked with uh, Mayor Carter on the project in, uh, at Oxford over on uh, Lexington and, and uh, uh, 94. And this project was the perfect project for us to uh, come into downtown with and work with important partners uh, and do what we do best, which is partnering with, with other groups. So that's been used, a that we've talked about that a lot today. The partnership component of this, it can't be underscored more. Um, so thank you for your support. Thank you all the donors who have um, supported the Parks Conservancy and this park in, in particular. Uh, we look forward to um, continuing our work as kind of the umbrella organization for St. Paul Parks. We're undergoing a 10-year visioning process ourselves. We want to uh, pick the next project that we're going to help raise private dollars for. So. Great job, everybody that's worked on this project, and let's get some groundbreaking done. Ready? Ready? Dig. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Got a lot more work to do.